Sakurai's YouTube. Uh, Sakurai needs like a thumbnail that's like him going like this with a big arrow pointing towards Minecraft Steve. And it says like how I would have nerfed Minecraft Steve. He needs to really double down hard on that shit. Why was Ridley too big? You know, big face. He can do like one of my classic uh, blurry faces. Like he's, uh, he should double down on that shit. I gave myself a headache doing that. You should really go 100% right up the ass of YouTube. And then he should have like, I invited 10 of the best Smash players to jump in a pool of 1 million Skittles and try to eat the whole pool. Actual YouTube content. Where the f is it, Sakurai? Let's do the actual YouTube content. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is I'm looking it up. はい、皆さんこんにちは。有限会社空の桜井正宏です。星のカービィやダイラントスマッシュブラザーズなどを作った。It looks like Sakurai brought whatever production crew that was helping out during the Nintendo the Smash Directs to help him out with this. Cuz they probably weren't Nintendo people, they probably just like commissioned agency or something like that to help out during the pandemic. So he got them to, you know, just work on this stuff for him. ディレクター、もしくはゲームデザイナーです。どうぞよろしくお願いします。最初にこのチャンネルの目指すところを述べます。ズバリ世界中のゲームの面白さを少しだけ底上げすることです。一応お伝えしておくとゲームの作り方を知らない方にもお勧めです。というわけで、YouTube で番組を展開することにしました。Sakurai, you should do a video on how you play two characters at the same time on two controllers. Let's see that. 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 Anonymous, thanks for the five dis subs, dude. <coughs> Sorry, voice peak there. Ratsutera put in five. Hope your thoughts are going well. If you're interested, soccer is the main on YouTube channel. Yeah, we're checking it out right now. Technical ゲーム制作に接点がない人への関係というのは必要ですよね。この世界を垣間見られることは大事。そこで私はゲーム制作の様々なことを番組にしたら、より多くの人に何らかの気づきを与えられる可能性を考えました。少なくとも講師や講義
それぞれの開発環境による落差が大きいし、秘匿事項も多いですしね。だから技術的も。And it would just be him going through Evo? Sorry. I'm sorry. I have so many ideas for you, Sakurai. It would just be him walking anonymously through the Evo Hall and going. <laughs> and getting a whiff around every, you know, every like pool area of everyone playing. Sorry, I would fucking be super down. That would be great. I'm a visionary, is what I'm trying to say. Sakurai, hit me up. I'll do it for free. Killer Instinct players smell the best. この番組は日本語版と英語版を用意しています。YouTubeAIの同一性チェックで片方が落ちてしまう可能性も考えられますが、手探りしながら作っていこうと思っています。That was a very 問題少なさそうですから古典的な作品が多めになるかももし浜本さんに怒られたらその時に対応しますゲーム映像があった方が明らかに楽しく分かりやすくなりますから多めに見てもらえると幸いですなおなんとスマブラの、えー、開発ロムの映像や、えー、私が作った一部開発資料をお出しできるということになります、oh, cool. ということもあるので、任天堂には一応お話を通しています。ただ、この番組は任天堂とは関係なく、私が運営していることをご注意ください。Yeah, I don't think a lot of people have realized that Sakurai hasn't been a Nintendo employee for Jesus since Smash Brawl. It's it's actually Melee. Yeah, since Brawl. Sora Inc. happened after Melee, and he was essentially a contracted freelancer. And for the majority of those games, I mean, especially since Smash 4, Nintendo didn't even make these fucking games. They're made by Bandai Namco! They were just, I think it's just like, it's funny that a lot of people still don't realize that. That the person that's responsible for the series isn't a Nintendo employee, and the people that are making the game aren't from Nintendo either. He left since Kirby Air Ride. Oh wow, the GameCube era? That's crazy. He worked for HAL. Well, he created Sora, right? For the most part, Sora ended up just being him and his wife. From what I understand. Maybe that was a bit different with Brawl. I'm fairly sure the only two people that were actually at Sora, LTD or whatever, was Sakurai and his wife. And his wife did the UI stuff, or some UI elements, which is why Smash Brothers UI is kind of coherent, you know, in a lot of the games. Uh, Simmons told me this like a decade ago, right? A hell of a long time ago. Sora is just him and his wife. Yeah, I thought so. 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 Yeah,
which was which is honestly one of the very few Japanese developer insight avenues out there. There's really not many of those. Uh, Harada's bar probably was a big stepping stone where he's like, wow, people actually enjoy watching this because his episodes on Harada's bar got like a couple hundred thousand views to 300,000 views or something like that. Didn't he actually say he should do this in that interview? I think he did, right? I think he did say that like, this is a good idea. We should do something like that. It's funny that that whole philosophy of make games more fun actually translates into several ways outside of just gameplay. Sakurai was able to make Smash Brothers more fun by getting the impossible things to happen in it. Not just development, but to make his game more fun by adding all of these outside elements that is technically not related to the game itself. No, he was able to do it on a business end that got things in the game that would be largely considered impossible. Making the game more quote-unquote fun. Fun for a very large audience and maybe not the focused audience that is just there for the gameplay stuff. もう yeah, these, these graphics are mad cute. Don't worry, Sakurai, it's still very difficult for me too. だから、ここでチャンネル登録しちゃいましょう。Nice placement. Stop for the big moments. Let's look at this. この仕様という uh, oh, we're gonna talk about damn Sakurai in his uh in his now college course, his free YouTube college course is about to talk about hit stop? Really? Shit. Smash's hit stop is so hilariously aggressive too. It looks like somebody grabbed the asset in Photoshop and just went, <laughs> you know? Interesting, you actually disabled hit stop in the engine. I had to also do this for Killer Instinct for some trailer stuff because the hit stop would literally like break certain scenes that we were creating. And I'd have to disable hit stop and the whole fucking game just falls apart, right? When you actually don't have the hit stop there, it's just gone. Nothing feels right at all. ボススストップとは私が勝手に使用上で作った用語ですが、ボスを倒した時にえ、演出として止めるものです。実はファミコンの星のカービィ夢の泉の物語から既に実装しています。ボスを倒した瞬間、画面をフラッシュさせつつ
こんなに大事なヒットストップなのだからジャンルを問わずあちこちにつけていってしまっていいのにと思っています例えばシューティングゲームスクロールスタイルのシューティングをしているときいつの間にか I mean here's the funny thing hit stop doesn't just echo to、uh, a visual indicator hit stop is also an audio thing chat what became super popular and was one of the things that Gave Call of Duty the punch that it had back in like the late 2000s was the fact that its hit hit effect sounds were very punchy. The hit marker sound, the, the little hit marker squib sound, became this thing that you would like, in, in a very similar way, gave you that satisfaction of it actually landing. ファンタジーゾーンという作品があります1986年作品、oh、God, Opa, Opa. これは弾にぶつかった瞬間に一瞬画面が止まります止まるだけだから派手とは言わないけれど時期にめり込む弾などがはっきり見えしまったという感覚が増しますこういうことはぜひやるべき実はファンタジーゾーンはディフェンダーという作品の仕様をいろいろ踏襲していますこのミス画面を見てみるとこの時点で演出とはいえど止めが発生していますねなんとこれ1980年のゲームですディフェンダーは what? Midway? この当時北米のゲームではこういった演出が散見されていた気がしますいや、トラメッツ、ありがとう止めに限らず、さまざまな演出が考えられますが、ここでいろんなシューティングゲームにおいて、そのまま止め、画面振動、やられごスローと、演出をどんどん足していってみましょう <laughs> Super dramatic. You know what also had a, this done really well?、Um, Mega Man. Right? This was something in even the very, very, very old Mega Man games that was like. <laughs> You're dead? It gave you about like five to ten frames to realize you're dead, and what happened? Big ass explosion, right? Everything stops. Broom, 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 broom. And also happened when you killed bosses, right? When a boss died in Mega Man, like they would essentially get hit, everything would stop, and they would almost stay in spot and blow up, right? There's a lot of. It solidified a moment, you know? ここぞという時にしっかり止めてやっつけたあるいはやられた手応えを演出しましょう比較的簡単に実現できることだと思います。This feels like it's like basic stuff, but shockingly, in a lot of games, is missing, you know? Once again, and imagine where you can take it, you know? Imagine, imagine in what direction you could go with it, where Tekken did something even more amazing with it, especially for fighting games, and even like Guilty Gear XR did, where instead of solidifying the moment of impact on death, what did they do, right? In Guilty Gear XR, it's the exact same thing that Tekken 7 does. It solidifies the moment right before death, right? So it slows everything down. The anticipation of the action is about to happen, and now you don't know who is going to be the one that is going to deliver the final blow, and then it happens. And that was really cool. That's something they took out of Strive for some reason. I don't know why. And it's something that Tekken 7 also does fantastically well. Like, it's so cool to see, like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I've seen like in some, in some moments you get like three slow mos that happen because like the respawn to the attack is a slow mo, and then you block it, and then you slow mo, and then you block it, and then you slow mo. Wow, dude. My, my, my fucking face just did the thing naturally. Fighting games need more shit like this. They just do, right? Fighting games need more things that solidify badass moments. You, the, the, the game should try to make this moment feel badass. Here's how we're gonna end this. Here's how we're gonna end this, alright? 
I am He-Man! And then suddenly... <gasps> the pizza He-Man! Eat it! Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what the... <laughs> the pizza He-Man! Eat it! <laughs>